Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we race the monkey against the Vespa, and I've gone into training. Cue the intro. Okay, so last night was a very exciting night because I had a text message from the sidekick saying the Vespa had passed its MOT. That means it's now legally on the road and able to race. The thing is though, I text him back saying, like all good movies, we'll race at noon, 12 o'clock noon, because that's when all the showdowns happen. But then he sent me a text message back and put, well, I've taken the old knackered engine out and I'm putting the new one in. The engine's out, but the new one's not in yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. 12 noon. We're racing at 12 noon. So I text him back saying, you've got until 12 noon. I sent him the secret location audio survey map reference where we can meet. And he will either be there or not. That's the big question. Now, as we know, the monkey bike has already like being ridden up a mountain it has already taken one of the most highly dangerous off-road tracks with boulders in the middle of the road and not just that but very recently it crossed one of the most epic rivers in the world now today is the day that the monkey bike is for once and for all going to kick the butt out of the scooter at least i hope so so let's find out if he turns up but during this entire time where he has been working on his bike, where I say he has spent lots of money buying free scooters to make one race prep sidekick machine ready to do battle. But while he's been doing that, nothing needs to be done to the monkey bike. The monkey bike is already perfect as a stock motorcycle. It needs nothing. So I've been spending my time training. So what I've done is, I've watched three very important films. The film one I watched was Rocky. Every single person that's going to battle should be watching Rocky. Keep pushing you away While I want you to stay Amazing God is eyes But my heart still beats When I say no it's yes you to the test can you handle me do you have the key sorry that i've been playing games do you really have what it takes i guess so i guess so i guess so i guess so i am a queen i need my king are you bad enough to sin i think so i think so i think so i think so okay let me just be honest with you i want you want you want you and okay two I watch was Greece. The moment where I believe the character's called Danny is racing against the complete plonker. The guy that thinks he's cool, but he's not because like me, like Danny, we're the really cool ones. So I watched that, prepping myself for that drag race strip. So of course now I feel ready. And then finally, the third film, the most important film I watched I watched a monk being trained, and they do this. And hug trees and stuff. They are literally so relaxed, you'd think that they were asleep. But anyway, it's time. It's time to put the helmet on, the gloves on, open up the garage, take out the steed, the Honda monkey bike, 
and head to the place where the secret location where this race is going to happen and let's just hope or not that the Vespa can even make it even turn up let's find out <laughs> Okay, monkey. Okay. Well, we've got some Italian butt to kick. All nine horses of you need to work right now, and we are going to kick butt. Let's go. Okay, so it's 11.59. He's not here. He's got until noon. It looks like I have literally got this in the bag. I've already won it, and I was worried. I was worried because I've looked at P's brake horsepower, and apparently, hang on. Whoa, hang on. Bloody him! Blimey! That was like Nigel Mansell! This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. That was a bit quick. <laughs> a bit too quick. Is it definitely a 125? Definitely. Are we sure? <laughs> that was like a thousand cc. That was like a sonic boom. So in the right corner, we have the Vespa ET4. Now, this is apparently around 10 and a half brake horsepower. And I'm pretty sure that someone's gonna tell me that I'm completely wrong, it's not as powerful as that. But I just Googled it and that's what it said. So this has been christened as the Monkey Eater. Now the sidekick spent many hours and many days. He bought three bikes and made this beast. And it's still, even to today, not finished. And he only finished it half an hour to make it able to even run for this race. And then in the left corner, we have the awesome, the beast, the thing that's been up a mountain, off-roading through a river, the monkey cycle. And so far, it's literally done and beaten every challenge chucked at it. And is today the day that it can do it again. The monkey cycle, as we well know, has nine horsepowers. That means they've got nine small horses and shove them inside that engine to give it an absolute grump of power. So here we are, we're at the start. We've got Darren, we've got the Vespa, and we've got the Monkey. Now, it's gonna be quite a simple race. We're gonna set off from here and roughly travel a very rough mile, and the finish line is a rainbow, because everybody loves a rainbow. So the plan is, is we're gonna go full pelt all the way to the rainbow and see who wins and we're racing for slips people so this is a very very serious race so the big question now is i've been in training now for weeks and weeks as you've seen from the video and i'm finally ready but is darren is the psychic ready oh yeah I'm definitely ready is the bike prepped the bike's prepped i've put the expensive fuel in but you've not cheated that, no that's not cheating is it there's no nos are you sure there's no nos is there a red button there has got to be a question. Is there a secret button? No, it's, um, I think it's running all right. It's only done about a mile so far, so we'll but see. They're saying that yours has roughly 10 and a half brake horsepower, where mine only has nine. No, I think that hole you saw in the engine case the other day, I think some of the horsepower's leaked out of that. Right now. Okay, fair enough. And mine's a lot newer, so it should be quite an interesting race. So you know the rules, you know the plan. Yeah, am I allowed to kick you as I go by you? No, it's not road rash. Sure. It's just pure racing. And obviously the loser's the loser, mate. <laughs> slips, are, slips are gone. Go, 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 go! He's going for it! He's in the 
complicated. Come on, son. Come on. Race and stance. We got the power up. We're at 53 already. This is intense, but I'm still accelerating. Come on, son. All the way. All the way. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Come on. Come on, little monkey. Stupid monkey bite. Uh, are you gutted? Yeah. Are you completely gutted? Uh, there you go. <laughs> you can't just leave it. Why? <laughs> That's it, I'm done with it, you can go. It's a sidekick's vehicle. <laughs> it was literally just there was just nothing in it. You got away quicker than that was it. I know, it just got off, didn't it? And then it was just held. And I generally thought, I started to lose speed on the hill. I thought it was going to catch you, but then it was, no, it was like, no, it's not. Jesus. That oh, was good though. My heart's going. <laughs> I have to go hospital. <laughs> I love it. So this is the part now where I would put it all together and make the epic kind of race journey and show you all the cool stuff that we did. So here we go, enjoy. We were young, but not enough to be dumb. It was love, seems like you forgot. You're only You were complete So excuse me for remembering All of the good times They're fresh in my mind You and I By the ocean side Yeah, all of the good times They're fresh in my mind
that was victory. The monkey bike slayed the monkey eater. Well, it's not the monkey eater anymore, but hey up, the sidekick almost caught up. There was a speed thing going on there where I took off and I could see we're starting to get closer and closer. And there was one little moment, a little bit of poo came out, but I managed to keep it in the lead and win it. So we made a bet and the bet was we always run a race for slips because we've seen all of the great films like Greece where they sit there and they, and they race for those slips. So the question is, have you brought your slip? Yes, I've brought my slips. You want them? Yes. Here's your slips, mate. Well, what's that? Slips. The slippers. Yeah, but they're not even my eight eyes. Rules didn't say what size they had to be. Well, victory slippers are mine and they're going on the monkey. So there you go, there you have it. The monkey bike yet again is just just an impressive machine. I mean, what can't this bike do? It's incredible. And what a fantastic episode. I mean, I woke up early this morning. I was dead excited about getting out and filming it. And generally I didn't know what was gonna happen. So for the monkey bike to actually win, I'm just well happy with that. But as always, the most important thing right now is to thank the people that help fund this channel. That's the patrons. That's the patrons that you'll see in the credits at the end. If you think about becoming a patron from as little as $1, that's about 80 of our great British pence. You can see some of the videos coming out first and they can be a day to a week to even a couple of weeks. But the most important thing of it is you get to see them first as much as possible. And not just by being a patron, but you can also put your own comments in there. You can start a little chat with me and get to know me a little bit better. There's lots of new tiers on there and the tiers, like I said, start from $1 and they can go right up to a thousand dollars if you want if you're a company owner and you want to sponsor the channel um, but there's lots of different tiers for lots of different things there's ones that include a free mug and a free t-shirt after so many months so please please click the link down below check out the patron page and another big thank you as always for those people that have subscribed to this channel and watch me on a regular basis and leave nice comments and thumbs up because that is just absolutely awesome so massive thank you to you and if you haven't subscribed and you think about it as always please, please click that subscribe button. Don't forget before you disappear from this video to hit the thumbs up and leave a lovely comment. I do appreciate it. But the most important thing as always is eat pies, ride motorcycles, be happy. Bye bye for now.